Hi everyone, welcome to beginner piano lesson number five. We're working in the beginner piano lessons found at pianovideolessons.com. In lesson four, we learned to play hot cross buns in two keys, the key of C and the key of G. And you probably noticed when we played that song, we really were only using three fingers on each hand. So this next song, it's Mary Had a Little Lamb, and we're actually going to use now the two fingers that we didn't play before, fingers one and five. So this one's not gonna be too tricky of a lesson. It's a lot of the same concepts that you've already done, just a little more coordination involved. So having a look at the lesson sheet, which is available for print at pianovideolessons.com, the link to the exact lesson is here in the description, and you'll see that we're going to be using fingers one, two, three, and five. And you see that it's three black keys and two black keys. So we're going to be using the three black key group and the two black key group to play this song, and we're going to be having fingers one, two, three, and five, on these black keys. Finger four does not play in this piece. So let's take that to the piano. Let's target finger three on the top black key here. It's going to help us get settled. Finger three, and then two, one, and finger five. So again, finger four not playing in this song at all. So all we need to do now is play each finger in order through the piece to the double bar line. So let's go nice and slowly, and let's just try the first line. Here we go. Three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, 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 three, five, five. So I hope that was comfortable for you reaching up across notes. If there was any spot where you found the coordination was tricky, maybe at two, three, five, you would just go back over that a few times until it really feels easy to play. Now let's continue the next part, which starts off exactly the same as the first and ends with just a slightly different pattern. Here we go. careful to keep a nice rounded hand position and I'm pressing into the keys and as I press down I just gently use um, like almost like seesaw pressure lift up a little bit on my wrist that helps me to press in my with my fingers without feeling uncoordinated it's just like maybe I'm just like standing my hand up a little bit on each note not excessively it's not visible I'm not like doing this or anything but I am just using the feeling of pushing up when you play piano you want to use the best technique you can, and really a relaxed hand with curved fingers is the way to go. Okay, so that's right hand. Now let's have a look at left hand. And again, we're going to be using three black keys and two black keys, and we're going to be using five, four, three, and one. So we're not going to be playing finger two in this case, and five, four, and three are going to be on three black keys, and one is going to be on the bottom of the two black key group. So let's go ahead and find that on the piano, and again, let's target finger three on the top black key of the three group. So I can place it right here, finger three, and then finger four and finger five, bring thumb over. Now, if you're too close to yourself here, you could just scoot over on your bench, or you can play it down low so that you have lots of comfort in your arm. Up to you to decide. But again, let's find nice relaxed hands, turn them over onto the keys, three, four, five, and one. There shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like your thumb is awkward. You should slide your whole hand on the black keys until you find a good spot where everybody can balance without falling off. Play on the side edge of your thumb and the pads of your um, other fingers. Okay, we're all set. Let's go for it, starting with right hand, finger three. I just had to play it right there. So then as I'm playing these other notes, it's just relaxing. And that's where it goes when it relaxes. So, you know, you can try to keep it close, but if it ends up feeling awkward that you're sitting there, don't worry. Just when you have to play up, make 
make sure that you're thinking ahead and getting ready to be sure that it's still sitting on that key. All right, so if you wanted a super duper challenge, you could try to play Mary Had a Little Lamb on La Keys with both hands. But the fingers are different, so you have to think about which notes you're on. This is just a bonus challenge. You don't have to do it. It's actually a pretty advanced coordination. So join me in lesson six, where we are going to learn to play Mary Had a Little Lamb in the keys of C and G, using lots of the white keys. And again, if you'd like to start learning to read music, check out the note reading crash course, where you can learn uh, how to read notes one at a time, and also learn to do some writing. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in lesson six.